wise man told me one time. I can't what? You're a wise idiot. Yo, this dude is pissing me off. If once a, a, a bomb goes off, you can't defuse it. The uh, um, yeah? Video is called Son Spends 275k of Dad's Money on Virtual Girlfriend. I feel like I'm gonna laugh at this one. I'm not gonna lose you. I'm, I'm, I've never seen a JCS video like this. Now, we watched a couple of JCS videos on here, and I've watched all the JCS videos off the stream, but JCS has never missed on a video. Um, to this day, I know like two of y'all were here, but if you go back into the channel's history, there's a JCS video called um, Clifford. That was the name. Hold on. I was. I don't think I laughed this much in a reaction ever. Yeah, the cut was looking crazy <laughs> back then. The cut was looking crazy back then. There was five people in this stream. I'm not going to lose you. Mid-2018, 29-year-old Grant was unemployed, living rent-free in his parents' guest house in the rural village of Chuliota, Florida. He had not once lived on his own, and had recently been kicked out of an anesthesiology school for lack of attendance, and also fired from a job as a nurse for stealing medication. It was around that time when he decided to experiment with the relatively new realm of online cam sites. These platforms differ Ah, <sighs> this can only go bad from regular porn sites in that they are interactive. Instead of watching a pre-recorded video, users can solicit live performances from models in exchange for money. This allows individuals to watch whatever acts they want, but at a price. Using his brother's credit card, he browsed through multiple cam models spending an average of 20 minutes on each one. Yet it was on the 5th of June when forensics discovered he came in contact with a performer who went by the stage name of Sylvie. And over the- By the way, if you're- you, okay, yo, this- looks like an interesting character if you are using cam sites bro you i'm not gonna hold you. you've reached the the it's probably the worst level you can go to i'm not gonna hold you spending money on a cam site is crazy imagine chat somebody come up to you or one of your friends come up to you and then been saying like damn i use your credit card to spend straight money on cam sites it's like at that point bro at, at that point, you just gotta see me at that point. I ain't gonna hold you. The following six months, Grant would spend over $200,000 of his family's money on this one model. The entirety of his father's life savings that he had saved up from working as a pharmacist for over 30 years was gone. He had spent $60,000 from his brother's credit card and had also taken a $65,000 loan out on the house. When his family found out, instead of calling the police, Grant was sent to a behavioral rehabilitation facility for online porn addiction. Actual we try video. to run from shame, the stronger it becomes. When Grant got back from rehab on Jan, what kind of what kind of anti cord ad was that? January fourth, his I father I had him with a two-page list of rules he was required to follow if he wanted to continue living at home. One of the conditions was that he cease all communication with Sylvia immediately, but it took just three weeks for the family to discover that he had broken the contract and re-established contact with the model via Twitter. I'll be careful out here, bro. There's no reason why bro was that down bad to where he had to go to a rehabilitation center just for a uh, fucking corn addiction. That is actually insane. Now, you would think that helped, but... On January 24th, when Chad Amato got home from work, he reportedly confronted Grant over his disregard, and the two of them got into a heated argument which almost turned into a physical altercation. Grant was then kicked out of the house, and for the first time in his life, he was on his own. Shortly before 9 a.m. the next morning, police received a call from Cody Amato's girlfriend alerting them that he had failed to show up to work that morning and hadn't responded to multiple phone calls. They arrived at the residence at 9.17 a.m., and once knocks on the front door went unanswered, they were able to gain access with a knife via the back entrance. Chad, Margaret, and Cody Amato were all found lying dead on the floor with gunshot wounds to the head from a 9mm handgun. Grant became the immediate prime suspect wow. as a witness statement from Cody's RB. girlfriend advised police of the confrontation that had occurred the night before, as well as the collect- This has to be one of the most down bad cases all for it, bro. If this is- bro's reasoning is because bro wanted to be with that girl who barely knows that he exists and is probably finessing him out of all his money. If that is the reason why he did all this, this is probably one of the most sick down bad human beings of all time of bizarre circumstances that had led to that point. He was traced to a hotel in Orlando. 
If you're being cooperative, sir, we appreciate that. Yes, um, some similar county detectives want to talk to you, so we're going to get their handcuffs off of you. Nothing in your pants, correct? It's just a normal routine when we encounter someone that we want to make sure you're safe. Something. Now we know you don't have any weapons. Bro's we'll, cut is we'll get crazy. Those things off of you. We're confident you've been cooperative, everything's good, so we appreciate that very much. It goes a long way. He immediately agreed to accompany them to the police station and sit down for an interview. Reports stated that he wasn't made aware of his family's demise, nor was he advised as to what the purpose of the interview was for. Grant himself didn't once inquire, just reportedly sat silent in the back seat of an unmarked police car, staring out the window for the entire journey to the police station. Did you know why? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh Lord, here go the interrogation. What you think he thinking about? Oh my God, this he got a uh, freezer third form. This month, <laughs> yo, he got freezer third form, yo. I didn't think we was gonna get a top down view of this. He has freezer in his third form, just out and in, in, in ready for everybody to see. Just save it all off, like at that point, bro. You just got, you got, you do have to save it all off at that point. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Just to restate, he has not been told, nor given any insinuation as to why he is sitting inside an interrogation room, and has not once inquired himself. Hey, we really appreciate you coming up here with us, and uh, you know, any time during this you need to stop and go to the bathroom, want a drink, um, saying just let me know and we'll, yeah. be, we'll be happy to get you. Um, my name is Danny Anderson, and uh, I'm a deputy from County Sheriff's Office at the Eva. Mm -hmm. The investigator's initial plan is to establish a friendly connection with the suspect, which can often be a highly effective tactical procedure to elicit a more detailed discourse. Yet on this occasion, something seems to get lost in the endeavor, which you'll just have to see for yourself when the time comes. Mm. This is one of the most fascinatingly aggravating interrogations to ever be released into the public domain. You hear that? Aggravating. We're going to get pissed. This reaction. Domain. Girlfriends. Girlfriends. I had, like, my high school sweetheart. Here we go. Uh, girlfriend. Um, for about five years, and then ever since then, no like official girlfriends, no flings or anything. How old is he again? Something like that. Dates here and there. Dates occasionally, but he's lying. He's never been on a date after that. I mean, not really. Kind of focused on like just getting through the life, the life goals that you know I wanted to achieve. Which is nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with focusing on yourself unless you're this. What do you like to do? What do I like to do? I like to watch anime. Oh no no no. Don't say that. Oh, don't say that. 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 You making look bad, bro. You making look bad, bro. Why couldn't you say you played chess or something, or like you played like foosball or or badminton or something? I mean, I thought you said MMA. I'm like, okay, and then then when you start explaining to like. I mean, I guess like now. it's it's animated, um... Cartoons, you could say that. It's like cartoons, I guess you could say, but it's Japanese cartoons. It is in Japanese, and then they, uh, subtitle it. Yeah. You speak Japanese? That's what I say, do you understand? I don't. What, what's this thing would be like? I speak a little bit, like, I, I watch it so much that I, I understand what they're saying. Don't. <laughs> I, I understand a few words. We actually just went to, uh, me, my brother, and one of my friends, or, I guess, friends from high school. We went to Japan. In fact, how long have you been out of work? I've been out of work for six months, since June. How did you pay? That's a lot of money for to be out of work. My brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Other hobbies, PlayStation. Of course, this nigga got a... Why he has to be a PlayStation motherfucker? Bro, he played Xbox. This is Cap. He played Xbox. He never played Call of Duty either. He plays uh, Psychonauts. He ain't never touched a PlayStation in his life. Um, I think the only other game that we really played was Fortnite, but... <laughs> Fortnite? So this is recent? I was thinking this is old. Okay, now we have another <laughs> Now we have another problem. Okay, so now here's the problem. Why does the quality look like this? Uh, for all police investigators, this is a real question I have, and I really want somebody to answer this. I was thinking this was like maybe I didn't read all the details or detail like the the year skipped over me or just went past me. But I was thinking this is like a decade ago. I'm not gonna lose you with how low the quality looks. There is no reason why in the 21st century, like well, let's talk 2020, 2022, 2021, whatever this was, the quality should be looking this bad in a police station. There's no re I, I really don't get it. There's I feel like there's like a scientific reason that somebody can reveal to me, but there's no reason why the footage should be looking 
this bad. 1994 would look way better. Like, That's a big deal right now. Man, yeah. the younger Kids are all generation. over. And, and actually, yeah, during the time that I was... um, He just scratched his nuts, by the way. I just want to point that out there. I don't know if anybody else see it, but he just casually just scratched his nuts. Deal right now. Man, yeah. The younger generation played was Fortnite, but then that was starting to get too, like... That's a big deal right now. Man, yeah. the younger Kids are all over. And, and actually, yeah, during the time that I was... um that I wasn't working as a nurse, I tried to do the whole Twitch streaming thing. <laughs> would y'all watch him? Would y'all would watch Blue Ride, please stop none. No, would y'all watch him? In jail. Wait, so, he watches anime, he's played Fortnite before, he played Call of Duty, he has a PlayStation, he wanted to Twitch stream. Huh. Doesn't sound too familiar, I don't know. It sounds like a lot of niggas, to be honest. What is that? Uh, that I wasn't working as a nurse, I tried to do the whole Twitch streaming thing. What is that? He's uh, you and the guy with fucking Nintendo DS. Get off my nuts. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, you have to explain a lot of this to us? With, uh, with Twitch, it's you got your mic and then you have your face cam. And then you, basically people are just watching you play whatever game you're going to say that you're playing. Okay. Twitch gaming, building PCs, virtual reality. Mmm. On virtual reality, it was primarily just Beat Saber, so it's like a oh. rhythm-based game, like Guitar Hero. Apart from that, uh, we really didn't get into too many other games yet, because we were kind of just focused on Beat Saber. Mm -hmm. But I think we had downloaded a few other where it's just like... Pre Among Us. You're going through like a world, and you can interact with the world, or something like that. Close with your brother Cody? Let's talk about Cody. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, me and Cody... Who's older, you or him? He is. I'm the youngest one. I'm 29, he's 31. Okay. My oldest brother, Jason, is 35 or 36. 29. Right. Talk about Cody. Cody. You know, we decided to go to nursing school together. We decided to go to the, the nurse anesthesia school together. But a lot of people thought that it was weird because we did everything together and because we were so close, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, a lot of people understand the bond of brothers. Though. Yeah. The true bond if you're close to your And, I mean, during, like, this whole time, I mean, kind of like... Yo, just... I just know this nigga is, is really... Like, this is 29? Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. This is ridiculous. I pray on everything I love that this ain't me at 29 years old, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm investing in nothing but hats, snapbacks, and wig caps. There's no way this is he's 29. There's no way. Yo, if this is ever me guaranteeing, nigga, y'all gonna see me wearing hats for the rest of my life. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. And by the way, just cut the whole shit off at that point. There's a lot of people who look good bald, bro. Just cut it off, bro. That shit don't look good. If your jeans are trash, I hate, I hate that for bro, too. I hate that for bro too. A lot of men suffer from that, bro, and I hate that for them. I ain't gonna hold you, but guarantee that happened to me. I'm getting a wig cap. He would take care of everything. For always me. there for you. Yeah. Always there to support you. Always there. Yeah, did everything together. Connected at the hip. You're Ross. Did you have any issues really with him? No, like I was saying, during this last six months, it, it had been a very trying time. He would like have his moments where he would get extremely upset. Like, uh, like you know, he never gets violent i guess you could say but like at one point he got so upset that he like pushed a cabinet and then it like dented into the wall yeah i mean at least with me he's always been like where he's he's there for me like wh whatever it takes regardless of what's happening i'm gonna take care of it for you and that's your mom my mom has uh it must have been a bizarre sight for the detectives to witness, when a man who had just allegedly shot his mother in the back of the head gave a reminiscent smile when she was brought up in the discussion. She's always been the, uh, it's kind of like Cody, she's always been the one that focused on me, and, um... Wait, were you the baby? You tr yeah. were truly the family baby? For my mom. For yeah. my Yeah. Okay. For my mom. Um... Mom's favorite? Yeah. You know, countless times my dad would like come up to me and he'd make like me feel like he'd try and use things and word things to make me feel guilty so that I would, you know, do everything that I can, like get a job. Almost and, like a motivation. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and he'd, he'd tell me time and time again that, you know, you're her favorite. I mean, so, why don't you get a f job, you loser? You're 29 years old. You're 29. Uh, and he'd, he'd tell me time and time again that, you know, you're her favorite. I mean, she would do anything for you. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's like, yeah, I don't need to hear that. I mean, that's not what would motivate me. Sure. Um, but no, with mom, I think we yelled at each other a grand total of like three or four times my whole life.
Never any issues. I mean, she, it was always, like, right. if there was somebody that I could talk to and, like, Cody wasn't available, I'd always talk to my mom. Nigga said, 29, no job, no money, no bitch. That's tough. That's tough life to live. This nigga just, I, I, mean, like, I really can see how bro got to this point because bro just ain't have nothing going on. I'd always let her know what's going on. My dad was a very, like, angry, violent type person. Overbearing. My dad is. I was a very a pharmacist for I think thirty five years or so. My dad was a very was. I thought he didn't know that they. Maybe I'm tripping. Correct me. I thought he didn't know they arrested him for. He they didn't tell him that his people are like they know that his people are dead. Like he doesn't know why he's being brought in. So why did he say was? Or am I tripping? My dad was a very over. Or maybe he's just talking in past tense due to like he used to be like that, but he's not like that now. Maybe. But I swear they didn't reveal to him about the situation. So why would he state, why would he use past tense on, maybe I should just listen now. I'm trying to be in, on my investigation, so maybe I'm wrong. But like, he, I'm pretty sure he didn't finish his sentence. Let's see. For I think 35 years or so. My dad was a very like angry, violent type person. Overbearing. Overbearing. You know, like baseball practice, it'd be like four or five hours and he's, Hurling the ball as fast as an adult can, and we're like seventh, eighth grade trying to catch this stuff. Belittle you? He would belittle me when I was younger. The problem, I guess, was was that I was I was always like the the jokester, the one that could calm everybody down, make everybody smile. If it was a heated situation, I could say a joke or something, and then make everybody kind of move past it. And I was just in the point where it's like, you know, I'm hearing you know all this stuff from dad. I'm seeing how much Cody's helping me. You know, mom stressed out with her <laughs> that job, gave for so? and it's like I'm not doing anything. What's the last time your dad put his hands on you? Uh, the last time my dad put his hands on me would be, I'd say, nigga, you know, stop it, like stop procrastinating, nigga, say it. Kind of the middle of December of 2018. What happened? It's because, um, you know, with all the money that had been getting spent and... Just to be clear, the CAM model has not yet been brought up in the discussion. The money being spent in this context would simply be his living expenses. Uh, I guess just a mix of everything that I've been saying, just kind of boiling up in him. Um, and the fact that I was, to him, it seemed like I wasn't concerned about it. So, and then plus I was, you know, I wasn't acting like myself with the jovialness and, you know, sure. all that kind of stuff. Um, this nigga's a bad My guy. father chose to admit me to, like, a like an, a depression or an addiction clinic or something. Say what it was. Say what it was. Say. Okay. Until, I think, uh, January 4th. Did you agree to go? I, I didn't, but they said that, you know, this was your only... Who said? My dad. Okay. And that was in Fort Lauderdale? Yes. Yeah. Did your mom agree to it? My mom and my brother both agreed, but Maybe. it was Maybe. my dad who was like the iron fist, like, this is what's going to happen. Like, you know, he can't. Why did he say he needed to go? What was his reasoning? Because uh, with the way that I was acting, he just, he didn't see that I was doing anything for like the positive. Um, you know, and a lot of it just came back to money uh, with him. Maybe they... Uh, he would, he would, like, allow me to... Here we go again. You watch your mouth, Ryan. What are you trying to say about Florida? The, this is the first way to spot a nigga. Uh, when a nigga is so over the fences about they place, this is how you know you're right, nigga. First, telltale sign to spot a fucking... Uh, when, when you're right about a nigga cities, when a nigga take offense to it, and a nigga like, yo, don't talk about a fucking city like that. So, I'd be like, okay... This place is hostile where you have this or this is the case and they show me exactly why i'm right nigga. not surprised nigga. read about it to to spend money that he had uh, like with his credit card or something like that but it's like then whenever i did it was like a huge problem okay so you had one of his credit cards yeah and what were you buying with it uh well what i was doing is um over Say the it. past Four months or something like that. I've been I've been talking to this woman online. Who is she? Uh, she's as embarrassing as it is. She's a she's a cam, she's a cam model. 
A what? A cam model. Do you, right. do either of you guys know what that nope. is? Nope. Uh, just, just like all the videos, Doug, you, you have to tell us. A cam model, it's like they... they uh, it's like a virtual girlfriend, I guess you could say. Okay. Like that type of situation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a lot of the money went to her. Okay. Where's she at? She lives in Bulgaria. Nigga. Oh, this nigga is such a loser. Fuck is you sending money to a bitch in fucking a, 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 a country? I can't spell, nigga. B E L G U R I E. Nigga, fuck if I know. Nigga, fuck you sending money to Bulgaria, nigga. I definitely spelled that shit wrong. Fuck you been sending money to fucking Bulgaria, nigga. Shit, too much syllables in that shit. Bulgaria? Where's that? Over in Europe, it's like okay. outside of Germany. Okay. Like that. You ever been there? No. Okay. Um, so it wasn't. It wasn't that serious. Okay. So what would you give her money for? Um, just for like the time online with her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was just like that type of thing. And what did she charge? Six hundred dollars for, like a like five thousand or something tokens or something like that. So, and then it was four hours a night. Um, so I mean, it's I mean that's basically just where all the, like the costs went to was. You pay real money for the tokens, then you use the company's digital currency for, okay. for that. In GTA, can I get a nigga like this who, 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 who is spending fucking 200k, uh, 200k, and I, I can be their virtual and can, can, can I do that? Because this seemed like the move, nigga, because this nigga just giving away money for no reason. Absolutely no reason, bro. I guess that's his entertainment. I guess that's his form of entertainment, bro. So I mean, I, I can't I can't knock the ladies hustle, but like this dude is actually an entire DM oh for oh Mac bet say that say that say that say that. So you do this, and when did you meet her? I met her um, at the beginning of July. Yeah, at the very beginning of July. Okay, and and still talking to her. Still, yeah. I mean, more just on uh, like Twitter, okay. like just through direct messaging. Um, again, cell phone service doesn't work, so it's like I can't use the the chatting like How that. How much do you think you spent on this? Because seems kind of pricey. Yeah, probably. Ooh, don't say it. To don't say it. Don't say like it. Two hundred thousand dollars. Oh my god, yo, this dude is a fucking loser, bro. This dude is a loser. And just said that, just just said that casually, bro. Just said that in front of them, like, yo, that is insane. Two hundred k plus of someone else's money, bro. Not even his bread. He used to go crawl his free. Like this dude is such a fucking idiot, bro. Two hundred k plus of someone else's bread on a girl that lives across. Uh, fucking planet, nigga. Two, like two hundred thousand. Justice League could got that infrared out of me. Like, bro, this this dude is really like. Of course, he's in an interrogation room, but this dude really, I probably would, I probably would have left that out. I probably would have tried to lower the price or something. Even though technically he did, the title says twenty uh uh two hundred seventy five, and he said two hundred. But I would have lowered the price. I would have been like, shit, like. Maybe like $125, like $75, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Just just something slight. I would have lied. I'm my coach. I would have lied personally, but you know. <laughs> you know. I, I mean, he's already going to jail for the three, you know what I'm saying, what he did to his family. So, I'm shit. $200,000? Yeah. And where'd the money come from? Money came from me, uh, my brother, and then my dad. It just came from your brother and your dad. Did they know where the money was going to? They didn't know that it was going to uh, a cam, a cam model. I, I was about? saying that it was going towards my Twitch streaming, uh, like. If I told my mother that I was spending two hundred k to st uh, uh, start my Twitch career, my mother would probably roundhouse kick me and knock on Hoju GTA dead ass series. Like, put, yeah, like advertising, like putting my name out there and that that type of thing. So I guess to like bring it all back with why I was brought to Cornerstone. Uh, it was a mix of all of those things. It's like he felt like, you know, I, um, he felt like... You need to be grounded? Yeah, yeah. And so then I was there, you know, I spoke to, like, the therapist and psychiatrist and all that stuff. I didn't need any medications for anything. Mm -hmm. They had analyzed it as, this is an isolated event. You've been out of work. You have this 
PTSD from the whole getting arrested thing. And I mean, the last thing on my record was, I think, a speeding ticket back when I was at UCF. They had signed me up, I think, to be there for 60 days, mm -hmm. but then I was only there until January 4th. So Who paid for that? My brother, Cody. What was it called? This nigga don't pay for shit by himself. This dude don't pay for nothing by himself. Nothing. 29 years of age, too. Very, very sad to you. For that, yeah. 15,000. So their final diagnosis 15? of you was what? That I was fine. That you didn't need to be there. Yeah. That I was, I was fine. I told them all about like my living situation and how it had been stressful, and then it got better, and then now it's just stressful again. But they had all just said that it was just this isolated just this event. Just PTSD from right. When I got back, that's where my dad started to get really kind of overbearing, and I mean rightfully so. I know what I did, but it's like with him, it was every single day, hours a day. <laughs> excuse me, hours a day. He'd come home from work, and then he would just talk to me just about the same exact thing over and over and over and over and over again. When was the last time that you and your dad did have, you know, a heated conversation? Uh, it would be Thursday? Thursday. Uh, because one of his... Wait, two days... Wait, hold on. He Thursday? Thursday. Uh Thursday, and it says Thursday is two days ago, and it says, I know y'all can't see, but it says Day of Murders. Uh, because... One of his rules was that I wasn't allowed to talk to the woman anymore. That I This dude is a fucking idiot. All for it, bro. Why would you say that, dude? Never mind. Let's just look at this. this oops, never mind. I've been talking to. Um, but I guess you could say behind the scenes, my mom would let me talk to her through her cell phone using Twitter. So yeah, anyways, on Thursday, he had apparently found out that I was speaking to her again. You know, it wasn't really my intention to continue talking to this woman, but it just kind of happened. Uh -huh. um, and then because there was like that emotional connection, I guess you could say, uh, between her and me, like I, I like, you know, it felt like, like, like a relationship, you know, I didn't want to just stop cold turkey on it. So Thursday. <laughs> Is the pussy that good, nigga? You know, he's not even hitting that, bro. That girl's across the planet. She, he's not even hitting that, bro. He's seeing, he's seeing pictures. That's it. He's not hitting that. You're home all day. Yes. With your mom. She works at home. Correct. Yeah. Your dad's at work. What's his normal work hours? Uh, he works until. This is a, this is a Discord goblin. Now that I really think about it, it's one of y'all Discord goblins. It's one of y'all. Lurai, I've been banned on the Discord. Please, please, please take me. This one of y'all Discord goblins. I think he had to go in early that day, uh, -huh. uh, cause he had to start like doing overtime or something like that, and. He normally works, though, from, like, 5 or 6 in the morning to, I think he gets home between, like, 5.30 and 6 at night or something like that. What time did he get home that day? Uh, he got home at, like, 5.30. And then uh, he came in, and then he asked me in a calmer state, I guess you could say, like, basically the, the leading question of, you know, why do you think, we're about to have this conversation. Because you're talking to a camera. Giving me, I guess, that again. opportunity to be honest and truthful to maybe tone it down a little bit. I, of course, did what I always did, where I kind of didn't admit to it. Uh -huh. um, and then he, he came out and he told me that I had been doing that. He had proof. Yeah. Now, why do y'all feel like he wouldn't want to admit to it? Why do y'all why do y'all feel that? Like, Can anybody tell me? Why do y'all feel like this nigga wanted to wouldn't wouldn't want to admit to this dumb ass shit, nigga? The reason why this nigga doesn't want to admit to this dumb ass shit is I think that like and this is this is just my opinion. No so esteem, grounded at thirty is just like yo, that nigga got he did get grounded at thirty. Yo, that is so that nigga is so lost out of because it's embarrassing. Not only is it embarrassing, but I I truly believe this is one of the like out of everybody I've seen on JCS, this has to be the, like, he's really a lost cause. Like, even before the whole, like, you know what I'm saying, what he did on Thursday, he was a lost cause, even trying to pay month, this much money to a camp, bro. This is the online who be banned for only fans, bro. He was already a lost cause to begin with. Um, have an argument? Yeah. He kind of, you know, pulled me up from the couch, and then he was yelling at me to pack my shit up and just get out of the house. That he was the one who had to be the hammer. And that, you know, why am I making him have to go through this and all this other kind of stuff. Okay. I have my argument and then I'm packing my stuff. I'm, you know, taking it out to the car. It took me like a couple hours to get as much as I could just okay. kind of about into there. So I left. Okay. And then what time do you think you left about? Oh, God. 
nine, pre snitch nine or nine thirty or so. He goes on to state that he met up with his brother soon after on the side of the road. And what was the conversation? The conversation was basically that he was brought up to speed, you know, and that he would take care of it. He was brought up to speed by what? This is Grant attempting to frame his brother for a double murder suicide. You will see this quote brought up repeatedly from this point forward. How are you going to frame somebody who isn't a, oh, okay, double murder, yep, okay. Bro, why would you even try that, bro? Why would you even why would you even try that, bro? Come on, dude. I mean, I guess this is his only way of escape, but like nobody's believing that. He was brought up to speed on like why I'm why I'm out here. Who brought him up to speed? My mom. Oh, so she talked to him. Yeah. He told you that mom had, had talked to him. Right. Do you think that's why Cody left work? According to Grant, Cody had left work a few hours early to meet up with him on the side of the road. Cody had indeed left work early, yet it wasn't to meet up with Grant. It was later proven that while Margaret Amato was sitting at the computer sipping on a glass of red wine, Grant shot her in the back of the head. He then lay in wait for his father to return to the house, then shot him twice in the head as he entered the kitchen. Cody then received a text from his father's number, asking him to come home urgently. Forensics believe that he was very likely pleading for his life soon after he entered the front door. He was found by police with a gunshot wound to the face, lying in the fetal position. R. His R. credit card was stolen, with a purchase made to a campsite for $600 and estimated 30 minutes later. This dude, get this dude life, I'm not gonna lie. Get this dude life. That dude is, no, this nigga is very, very, very sick. So not only did he do that to his entire family, right then and there, he takes the credit card of his brother, who he, you know what I'm saying? And then proceeds to do another purchase on the campsite to this this dude is actually this is like this isn't even funny like this dude is actually like very concerning it's gonna get bad when they start grilling him i know right now we just get all the information it's kind of slow right now everything that's being talked about but when the police start grilling this dude it's not gonna be good this dude had to have gotten like there's no way there's no way this dude didn't get like this i think this is one of the saddest examples of why touching grass is important you know what i'm saying because this dude obviously didn't do that why doesn't the guillotine exist no more? Oh my god, bro. I guess he living his best life where he getting the pen. If bro's withdrawal's that bad, how you think his withdrawal gonna be in jail? Cause he gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, his withdrawal's really gonna be bad in jail. Later. I mean, in my mind, I was just thinking, oh, he had been let off work early like three, three times already this week. So, ten, I was ten, just like... 10, 15 minutes you talk to Cody. Right. You have a conversation and he leaves to go home. Right. And you leave to go where? And then I stay in that general area just so that if anything happens, somebody like knows where I am. Yeah, I mean, I was staying in that general area and then I decided to go to Publix. Publix. He just referred to the public supermarket parking lot. This is where he used the free Wi-Fi to log on to the campsite with his dead brother's credit card. Oh my God, it keeps getting worse. This is is like, this is getting worse and worse. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry, I'm pausing. Y'all know what y'all was getting into. There's no way bro went to the Publix connected to the public's wi-fi to make the transaction the transaction with his deceased brother that he just did credit card this dude is sick bro miles good night card which is about what time like between like midnight and one i think yeah and you go to public midnight one and how long you stay there till i stay there until like seven Drives around, gets food, checking the hotel, goes to sleep. Slept there last night. Talk to anybody? Uh, I just I messaged the girl that I'd been talking to so on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter, so you have to pay for it. Right, right. Did right. she respond back to you? Uh, I think once. The discussion is then brought back to his last meeting with Cody. And then, when you left, Cody, what did he say he was going to go do? Cody said that he will take care of it. Take care of what? Just the situation that was at hand with. Whatever he had been updated with from my mom. Did he tell you what he was updated? He had told me that he had told me the reason why like I had been kicked out um, But he really didn't give me that much dialogue like about that situation, you know, he was He was miffed a little bit because you know, he had just gotten off work and now he has to go deal with this But what was your demeanor? Like what did Cody see you as? Like were you like scared? Upset? Yeah, you... like so I was scared because, I mean, like I said, it's the first time that I had been out of the house. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? The first time he has been out of the house. 
did y'all did y'all hear that? The first time he has been out of the house. If that doesn't speak for itself, I don't know what else with it. We've come and talked to him. Mm, here we go. Up here voluntarily. Here we go. To talk to us. The detective will now initiate the first confrontation. The about fry. Why do you think we're having this conversation? I honestly don't know, but I'm pretty freaked out at this point because, you know, it's, uh, I mean, I know, like, how the situation was when I left. You're now about to see the lead interrogator's Thank attempt at getting Grant to confess in a manner so blatantly obvious that the suspect immediately sees through it. As a, as a child, we're told the truth always is the best thing to do, correct? Correct. You agree with me? Yeah. And accidents happen, and things in the heat of the moment, things happen that we wish hadn't happened. But we make, I, I do it myself sometimes, my kids will make me so aggravated, I'll snap at them and then walk away and say, wow, I wish I would not have done that. That was not very adult of me to... to Bad finesse? Them. Nigga, this is not going to work. This nigga talking, this nigga trying to like, trying to be nice, nigga, talking about some. I know there's good cop, bad cop, but this nigga talking about some. you know, our parents always tell us to tell the truth. Telling the truth is right. Let, let's tell the truth. Tell the truth is right. Like, nigga, obviously that's not going to work. This nigga committed a class A fucking crime. Nigga, the fuck nigga, you going to tell this nigga, you know what? I think that telling the truth is was right here. Like, I feel like, nigga, this nigga is like, come on, bro. My child or something. Yes, they're you wrong. Talk no but I should be the adult and not snap at him. Right. Tell me what you think, because I, I can tell by I've done this for a long, long time, and I read people the way they act and the way they, they talk to me and the way they answer questions. There's something you want to tell us. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your body language and just your the way you act. Now's the time. Now's the time. There's something you want to get off your chest and give us an explanation of what's bothering you. Now is the exact time to do it. And I, I, I'm giving you that opportunity. Um, right now to tell me some something you want to get off your chest. It's there. I can see it in your face. I can see it in your eyes. You're upset about that night. You're upset about it. You're upset about it. You've been that since we've talked to you. I can see there's something been bothering you. Even though <laughs> I don't know you have the house, can't you see things in people that something's really bothering this guy? It's not that, you know, I spent a bunch of money I shouldn't have on this girl. So be it. You did. It's over with. Money can be made back. Some that money cannot be made back by a regular human being. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. That's that's a lot of money, but let's keep it. I digress. I, I'm just worried about what is all transpiring from this. I, I think at this point right now, to be honest with you, Grant, you know what it is. Um, it's it's in your eyes. Your your eyes is is. Yo, bad mugshot. Horrible mugshot. He didn't need to give us this perspective. The top down. I thought the top down perspective was bad. This is actually horrible. I'm not gonna hold you. Horrible mugshot, by the way. Holy ears, nigga. Fucking, like, everything, nigga. Like, this is just... They should have gave my nigga a fucking hair, some hairline reconstruction or something. My nigga, this is ridiculous. Bad flicks, bad flicks. The view to your soul, is, it's in your eyes. And it sounds stupid, and people don't believe it. Like I told you out there in the car, did I not tell you? You may not like what I say, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth every time because I can walk in, walk in, in front of anybody in God and say, I don't care. I told him the truth. And we usually know answers before we ask it. I, I knew, we, me and, and Eva knew everything before before um, we asked you the questions. Now's the time to, to come to Jesus, be honest, because you're holding something. This trying to okay i know as an interrogator this is what they have to do to try to get these people to really like confess but this he's trying to bring he like religion everything more morality into it like which i know interrogators do but i've never seen somebody do it as like uh, fucking clear cut and obvious as this dude is trying to do it like bro just say that you know he did it already bro at this point i've never seen some uninterrogated do it like this obviously yo we know you did it to them just saying, bro. Like, you might as well have said that. You might as well have said that. I've never seen an interrogator be this, like, untransparent about what he's trying to do. Back, I can see it in your eyes. People don't believe that the police will help you, but we are actually here to help you. That's actually a uh, cap in an interrogation room. Do not believe this, but in GTA, but. With issues you may have. Um, I think something happened, and you don't want to tell us. But right now is the time to get it off your chest. 
and I really wish you would because it, it will make you feel better in the end. I, I genuinely don't have anything else that I can say. We've done something we shouldn't have done. Get fast up there. You get caught your hand in a cookie jar. Detective Danzer. Like, how old are we, nigga? Talking about caught your hand in a cookie jar. This nigga is not five years old, nigga. Approach here is so incredibly outdated and predictable that it actually. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Who is this nigga? He's been working in, in the police department for 30 years. Why is he talking like this? seems to boost the suspect's confidence. It's the detective, in fact, who gives off a nervous disposition. He'll begin stumbling over his own words while simultaneously mixing up his analogies, which never made a great deal of sense to begin with. Y you do it. Now, Was there anything else that happened at the house that you didn't tell us, that you've left out, or we haven't asked you, that would be of importance? Um, or during the time that you drove around for those few hours? Did you ever really go back to the house? That you haven't told us about. You'll also notice the female detective interject with something useful every now and then. By the way, yeah, she's she already just carrying. She's already but carrying. unfortunately, she's not the one leading this interrogation. That would be the detective who keeps bringing up Jesus. <laughs> Yo, this one says, bro, let bro, let bro, I mean, let her handle this. Let her handle this, because bro, I don't think bro is, is, is prepared for this. I ain't gonna lose it. To a guy who just murdered his family to go jerk off in a parking lot to a Bulgarian cam model. I know things that you don't know. And honesty will get you all the, the things I could do for you beyond. I can't deal with a, someone who lies to me, right. but I'll deal with someone and help them till the end, no matter what, believe it or not. That's yo, yo, this thing is actually pissing me off more than this this bald, freezer looking ass nigga. Why is he talking me, like this? She'll tell you. I'm In very, the lot, it's, crazy. it's what it is. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to say if I can do something that can help you, I'm going to help you because every one of us make mistakes and do things we I think done we get it. in the heat of the moment to protect ourselves or to protect somebody else. It happens. Now is the time. Now now is the time. So what do you think happened? I don't I don't know. Do you even know why law enforcement got involved? Like what what brought us to that home? No. Once you start telling me something that's truthful that I know then we're going to have a conversation of exactly what happened. I mean, you're a smart guy. You know something's happened at your home. You have law enforcement here. You haven't heard or gotten any well, emails. I mean, I'm, I'm just scared as to what the answer is. Well, I, you need to help yourself by filling in the blanks of what happened that night so we can give you the answer. Did anything more happen with you and your father besides him grabbing you up from the couch? This is the one thing about interrogations that it, it takes a while. Like, you have to have patience in the interrogation. Like, even us watching this, you have to have patience because the nigga, I'm just like, yo, nigga, just go ahead and say this shit, bro. Like, you you already caught. Like, just go, I, like, in my head, I'm like, yo, just say it. Like, stop fucking stalling and just say it. But obviously, yeah, I try and get caught up and he not trying to go to jail. So they're going to try to lie and hold out as long as they can. But it's just like, bro. Somebody, like, take this this dude on the left out. Honesty is always the best policy. You get you caught, get caught stealing a car, you admit to it, I did it. How can I get help? Yo, this nigga is a fucking idiot. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? that? If you were protecting yourself because you were in fear, then that makes sense. But we need to know exactly what happened for you to protect yourself. Right. You can't minimize this. Once... A, a wise man told me one time. I can't what? Yo, why is he in here? Yo, this dude is pissing me off. Yo, this dude is actually pissing. Like, I, I don't think I've been this uh, pissed off at an interrogator in one of these videos ever. Except this. No, actually, there, there, was, there was a one time. I just can't think of it. But no, this dude is at, like an actual. Like, God, yo, yeah, this dude is making this interrogation way longer than it has to be. Nigga think he the pope or something? He gotta be new. Dude say he been doing this for years though, chat. So I'm really trying to figure out what is wrong with him. Imagine Uguay what's wrong with what's wrong with this dude, bro? If, I, if I'm the dude, if I'm this weird ass nigga in blue, I'm gonna just look at this dude stupid, bro. Like, oh my god. Once a, a bomb goes off. You can't defuse it. The um, yeah, obviously. 
Yo, this dude is really bringing a whole tear to my eye. I'm not gonna hold you. Oh, yo, what is wrong with this dude? Why? Okay. <laughs> we have this thing that just says dumb shit, bro. What's a bomb is is the uh what 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 do you say? Hold on, what do you say? What a wise man once told me: once a bomb goes off, you can't defuse it. Okay. Yeah, obvious. <laughs> Bad metaphors, bad analogy. What is wrong with this dude, bro? I can't, yo. There's no reason why I should be laughing at what's going on right now. <laughs> There's no way he said that. That dude thought that was going to be the smoking gun right there, too. Yo, I'm really shedding, like, real tears. I'm not going to hold you. Wise man told me one time, once a, a, a bomb goes off... No wise man told you that, fuck, nigga. You just pulled that out your ass. You can't defuse it. The detective's wise man friend was clearly a specialist in nuclear fusion, yet most people would already comprehend that a bomb can no longer be diffused once it has exploded. You can't. That's already out there. Now, yeah, I can only think about what this woman is thinking. This woman's probably like, yo, this thing is an idiot. I'm not going to lose you. This thing is so I put stupid. Stupid. I on myself to <laughs> minimize oh the, the my God. That And we're giving you that. Chat. A wise man once told me, when you murder people, people die. In GTA, in GTA, in GTA, in GTA, in GTA. An opportunity to minimize the, the, the injuries I have. And we're giving you that opportunity. I want to give you the opportunity. I don't think you're a bad guy at all. I really don't. The male detective will now for some reason focus on Grant's flaws and the overwhelming embarrassment of the cam girl situation, which is basically the exact opposite of what he should be doing. He oh seems to God. get confused about what he's trying to achieve here. He carries a sympathetic tone while essentially roasting the ever-loving shit out of the suspect. Oh my God. You're going through a very stressful and emotional time right now with being out of work and just dealing with all the problems with, with the arrest. You're probably not used to depending on somebody to pay all your bills. So now you have to do mom and dad or have to have to give you money. Cody's having to give you money. And there's a significant debt to people. Two hundred thousand dollars. I don't know what I do. I mean, mortgage, yeah, I get it. Or something like that. Or or a medical bill for my child. Oh my yeah, God. I get it. But talking to some girl, you know, in Bulgaria, you know, you said you you hit it right on that you were Now I'm I'm all for the the investigator roasting him real quick, even though he that's not what he's supposed to be doing, but I'm all for that. I'm all for who's because this dude is actually a loser. Like I mean, I wouldn't be saying like all like it, I don't know the, the way to I, I I don't I don't I don't know like what to even say. So if anything happened in the home, you believe it would be Cody and him? Yes. Because I was I mean I don't I I I don't have you know access to anything. We know that Cody didn't shoot your dad. We know Cody didn't shoot your mom. We know Cody didn't shoot himself. There's something. And you still haven't asked us the that, condition of them or anything. That's because I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know what the normal proceedings are, but I don't, I mean, I. The normal proceedings are for you to be honest about we, what happened. And then we hope you understand everything that's going, that's going to go on from here on, on out of what our responsibilities are. And we don't believe you're Let being honest. Talk. We feel that you are leaving something out about what happened in that home. And the evidence tells us what happened in the home. But you need to fill in the blanks. The suspect's composure was finally starting to slip. Hmm? This was the Whoa. perfect moment to draw out the silence to see how he'd... Re now, let's see if they can actually do it or this nigga's going to fumble. Hopefully not. Like Respond to the pressure. Here's, 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 here's my hand. Honestly, I'm an I am an here's my hand. I really hate this interrogator. Yo, plugs, don't touch this. When I put this on YouTube, it's gonna be called the worst interrogator of all time or something like that, bro. Because this dude is actually fucking horrible. I'm not gonna like this dude is acting like it's a kindergarten classroom, bro. Look, look at my hand. I'm all, like, bro, honest guy. I'm going to be honest, and when it's all said and done. I'm going to be honest to the very last day that I, I deal with you, and then when this um, when this investigation continues, I'll go on to the next person. Be honest with them. I can only do so much with honesty. No. Hon oh, I thought the lady left. You switch positions, okay? Honesty, honesty, honesty. So, what are you not telling us? Um, what bro, happened? Silence that your phone. You know? Did you leave the house with your brother Cody looking like that? 
Or did you leave the house with your father looking like that? Or your mother? Is that how you left your family? No. Nobody, nobody else went into that house. Who left your family like this? If you were the one that's been depressed, you were the one that owes money, you were the one that got into a confrontation with your father. Who did this to your family? See, this that pressure that we need. This that pressure. She cooking something for real. This that pressure that we need. Don't say no. Nah. This that pressure that we need. Family. If you were trying to defend yourself or something else happened, we need to know now. The female detective does an excellent job at affording him the option to admit to a lesser infraction, which in this case is self-defense. She provides the option while simultaneously building pressure. It's a textbook maneuver, and she does it very well. To help you. So oh, this is the only interrogator I've ever seen on his phone this much during an interrogation. I've never seen an interrogator touch his phone during an interrogation this much. Bro, put D and D on, please. What happened, Grant? We're here to listen to you. Grant, need the truth. We're, we're here to make this right. You've got to tell the truth. It's on the tip of your tongue, my man. I get that. Did your, did your father go after yeah. you and you try to protect yourself? No, I didn't do any of this. Hey, I know. Video surveillance tells me everything that happened this night. I'm telling you. Of people that, that you'd be surprised who in your neighborhood has video. And I know that... <laughs> no, you'd be surprised who in your video, neighborhood has video? No one. No, but there's only four people was at this house during this time. One, two, three, four. Tell me. You got to tell me, man. You got to tell me. Get over that over that hoop. The video is the video. Is Get over that hoop. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Just so y'all can see, just so y'all can see. Get over that hoop. I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> if you're sitting there saying no, 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 and video shows something else, guess what? Big problem. Because it will wind up later on that that you can't get any help from anybody. A lot of this, what people make decisions on, is honesty. Was somebody honest? Didn't fire a gun. Didn't fire a gun. Didn't fire a gun. None of them did. None of them did. Cody did not go. Or did your father gun. point a gun at you? No, there's there's nothing else that I can say. Your emotions, your demeanor, mm. your body language, your mm. eyes tell me everything I need to see about you. You want to tell me in the worst way. You want to get this this pain off your chest. Do it. I mean, it's just because and he's saying that chat because I don't want this to fly over y'all head. Because once a bomb goes off, y'all know y'all can't defuse it, right? Y'all can't defuse that when a bomb goes off. They can't defuse it. You can't defuse it. Just stuff to really think about. Really stuff that I, people don't really think about like that. But like when you really think about it, it's really deep for real. Y'all just, I don't know. Some of y'all not going to get it. Some of y'all going to get it, though. It's re you really got to think about it. If you don't get it, think about it real quick. There's nothing else that I can mm. say. So your dad had told you in the past before that he would kill you? Right. For what reason? For what I'm saying. If I basically did anything related to this, again, causing, costing him a lot of money. And Cody knew about that? Right. So when did you learn that he was dead? Chad, you buddy as hell. I had been worried since last night when I was uh, just in the hotel, but I knew when you guys told me. I mean, like I knew when you guys had told me. You already knew, though. But I had... You already said, you know. So you admitted that he knew... At any point, did you feel like you needed to reach out to Cody and see if he was okay, or... I just didn't want to call anywhere. I just didn't want to know. We understand your father was abusive, and we understand that he was the asshole. And if he threatened you, that he was going to kill you when you came back, you were probably in fear, were you not? So did your brother come home to try and defend you, and then this gunfight happened, and you got so scared that you left?
This version of events would obviously clear Grant of any wrongdoing. She's trying to finesse him into the brother being in the wrong. She's trying, she's trying. To, see, this female detective is really actually like, you don't time it, I'm not going to lose you. The detective is hoping he takes the bait so that he changes his story and can then be placed under arrest for lying to police. No, I mean, I, I, I had left when I had said that I had left. I, I just don't know where else to go to get you to, to, to come around because... It does not make any logistical sense of what you're telling us. It doesn't. If these two got in a shooting, we would know. We would know they shot each other. We'd know that. But why mom? Things just got so bad and out of hand, like never it's been before in your life. Never been here before in your life or in your family's life. He's pissed. His future, his retirement, his plans are being upset by you because of the financial cost. I would almost bet this is just a horrible, bad incident that on any other day wouldn't happen. But you and me both know, as does she. What are you cooking, Chuck? I just, I, I don't, I don't have the answer for anything else. Okay. This is, this is the last time before I'm gonna walk out and then I'm done. And I'm done for good. When I'm done, I'm done done. Oh, he's showing his true <laughs> Hold on, he's showing his true colors, chat Marco. I thought he was gonna get up and just, I thought he was gonna get up and just hit <laughs> Oh shit. Oh bro show his true <laughs> I applaud Robert talk though due to a work, bro show his his cool uh true color. This is the last time before I'm going to walk out now, and then I'm done. And I'm done for good. When I'm done, I'm done done. I mean, I just, I don't have anything else that I can say. Because so I cannot yet be detained. Damn, so he got to stay there. He broke character, and now he has to stay there. Do you not feel bad for doing this to your family? I mean, I've been getting blamed for the last half a year everything and I've been trying to move forward into a positive direction bro you have no job you're 29 years old your barber is on the run for fucking manslaughter of whatever the fuck he did to you or you're balding I don't know either one and you are paying 200k of money that is not yours to fund a cam girl who lives across the planet to the point where you had to be sent to a rehabilitation center just to come back and do the same thing over and over again just to do your family dirty and beat your meat in a uh, fucking public parking lot. If that's not the saddest story I've ever heard in my life, I don't know what it is. I ain't gonna hold you. That's probably the lowest you can go in your life. Which one do you want? Because we will give you whichever one you ask for. The life preserver, the boat anchor. I want the life preserver, but I've said everything that I can. You, you want it, and I, I believe you do, but you have not said everything you, you can say. But there will be a time where you ask for that life preserver. I can't give it to you. I can't. Once I cross, once I cross a line, I got to step over. Can't do it. Won't do it. They should have, bro. There's like seven minutes left in this video. Chat, it don't look, like I said, it doesn't look like he's about to confess. And this is due in part to this interrogator being so trash. I don't know what he's talking about. Think, think, think about that. What? I want to talk to her for a minute. Think, think about the, 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 the last life preserver I can get you. Yo, yo, look, look at, yo, look at, look at her. Yo, she's so tired, bro. She's so tired, bro. About the, 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 the last life preserver I can give you. Think about it. Take a few minutes just to, to reflect on it. Yo, we'll, there's no way. We'll yo, this couple. dude probably fumbled one of the biggest cases in their area, bro. Fire this, bro. Get, because this dude cannot be in any more interrogation. It's been three hours and 24 minutes of this dumbass being a motivational speaker. She'd have, uh, she'd have had bro squealing. 
the, the, would have cracked the egg in the first hour. I'm telling y'all, if you put this woman in an actual competent interrogator, bro, they would have had bro singing in five minutes, bro. Four minutes, and then we'll go from there. And what happens is what happens. Fair enough. You right, man? You okay? Need some food, some water. You good, you good to stay for a while longer? You okay? I mean, I just, I just don't have anything more that I can say. I don't okay. know what the next. I'm not keeping here. If you want to stay, well, I'll, I'll talk to you till whatever, till you're you're happy with with everything and you're okay. Um. You're not detained, you're not being kept here. This dude can leave? He can leave, bro? This dude can leave? This is I'm not gonna lie, five this interrogator, bro, please. There's no reason why this dude should be able to leave. This dude can leave? Don't wanna be here, you don't have to be here. I don't wanna be here anymore. Okay. Give me a minute, we'll get you out of here. What I'll do is uh, we'll get you up somewhere. I'll give my card, my phone number. If you wanna talk to me, you're more than welcome to call me. And uh, we'll move forward from there. Fair enough. Any questions of me before I go, or before before we walk like, out? I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Like what am I uh, like allowed to do? Live your life. Hey man, we are right there at it. Jason's here. It's gonna be a few more minutes. Yo, what the? Bro was sitting in there. Bro was said he. Bro said he could leave in two hours. Pass. You could not leave. Oh my God, bad bit. That brother enters. Wait. What? Is this a this is another brother, right? Another this is another he has another brother, right? Or <laughs> somebody said he used that's not funny. That's not funny. I'm not even gonna read that out. Wait, this is another brother, right? Or please explain what's going on. Wait. Okay, hold on. So uh, I, I take it you know what happened. Yeah. Okay, no. Okay, so this is another brother. This is this is his other brother. I think. I just I'm gonna ask you plain out. You, you are not part of it anyway. No. Okay. Okay. So th th there is actual an actual case. Yo, I thought my fucking uh fucking one of them the TV show hosts was about to walk out when a, a, a Dateline NBC or Chris Hansen was about to walk out and just the whole the whole family about to walk in like yo this is a joke it's a prank we pranked you because we really wanted you to stop doing all the stuff that you're doing so we wanted to scare you into I thought it was gonna be all that I was about to be pissed I'm not gonna hold you I was about to be pissed if it was that I'm not gonna hold you you just walked the prank yo I was about to be pissed. And we spent 48 minutes just for it to be a prank the entire time. You got punked? All right. Um. Okay, but this is his other brother. Yeah. I just, I'm going to ask you plain out. You, you are not part of it anyway. No. How, when's the last time you saw everybody? Uh, I left the house between like uh, midnight and like 1230. I want to believe you, Grant, but you're the last person that I could put in that house. And I know what happened over the last six months. Who else can I blame? Who? How are we going to find out who did this? I don't know. I don't have the answers. This dude is The shit you did, you could have been in jail. You would have been in jail for years. I know. And they covered it up for you. I'm scared for you and I'm scared for myself and I don't feel comfortable with you being around me alone. I'm sorry. I could take you physically, but if you have a knife or know where a gun is. Damn, it's getting to this point, bro. It's like, yo, 
we get into some shit, bro, I can handle you. I, I can really beat your ass, bro. But if you have a knife or a gun, then I mean, GG. So I don't feel comfortable being around you. Like, where's this conversation going? I'm fucked. I need you to be honest with me, man. <laughs> this is not funny. This is, this is, this is literally. I want y'all to know this whole situation is not funny. It's very sad. The only thing funny about this is how bad the interrogator is. But like that man literally took me out of my phone. Like that's that that sounded crazy. I need you to be honest with me, man. I need to have closure. Well, I was told that you would not be have access to be able to contact this woman. Why do you feel the intent to still contact her? It was just a whole bad. emotional thing. I mean that's that's all okay. I can say. So are you saying that you love the woman? I Feel like I did, yeah. Okay, you feel like you did. So Never you met don't her. Feel that way now? Well, I mean, now it's pretty much. You know, I mean, it's not what it used to be. Is all I can say. Because she's aware of what has right. happened in the last several months. Right. It hurt, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, because you can't like... carry that persona that you carried before. I do love you, though. Just remember that. Just like mom, Cody, and dad loved you. Nobody loved you any more or any less. <laughs> okay, is he gonna confess? He... He's not confessing. Six hours, Jesus Christ. Seven, almost seven hours. Please don't break. Please just be the woman detective. If you have anything else you need to talk about, let's go. Let you go. Mm -hmm. Not even about to let you go. You know that. Like Danny said, once you're out of here, you there's no coming back from this. We're giving you every opportunity to tell us what happened in that home that you have not told us. Mm -hmm. So you're aware that when you leave here, you're not going to have any chance to redeem yourself and tell us the truth after the fact. Understand. And you're okay with that. You can live with yourself knowing that you're not going to tell us the truth. I said what I can say. Okay. Damn, an inter in the interrogation for seven you're hours. Right yeah. Question for you real quick. You don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to hurt anybody else. No suicidal thoughts. Okay, come on. Boy. Grant was arrested nine hours later at... <laughs> yeah, like he was you know, he was happy as fuck. That nigga was happy as shit. <laughs> no, he was he was happy as shit. Yo, did you see his face when he walked up? You're not gonna do this. You're not gonna do this. You're not gonna do this. Okay, bro. You you can go, you free, you free. You can you can come back, you free. <laughs> Where was he happy as Grant was arrested nine hours later at his hotel. His trial began on August 12, 2019. Grant Amato was so obsessed with this woman. You it's crazy because this woman still don't know he exists to this day. See from the evidence in this case, at 2.53 a.m. on January, January 25th, after leaving the house, that contained the three dead bodies of his family. The defendant goes to a nearby public parking lot. Mm, please don't say it. Logs onto their Wi-Fi mm. and uses his dead brother's USA a checking account to pay five hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents <throat> to get. How does that even cost that much? On to Sylvie's website at 3.02 in the morning. That's 3.02, 3 a.m. Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. She is actually running a scam business, bro. That is a godload of money. OnlyFans models don't even do that much. She actually needs to be brought to justice, too, for actually doing that to, to men out there. You know what I'm saying? Cause, well, to be fair, though, if niggas like that are gonna fall for it, bro, I mean, you might as well do go ahead and finesse because she is, she is getting an amazing bag. Find the defendant guilty of first degree premeditated murder. Grant Amato was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. 
nigga. Smoking that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Uh, whatever his name is. Don't care. He That has to be the biggest loser I have seen in JCS history. Along with the worst interrogator I have ever seen in my life. I hope they reviewed the footage and promptly fired him. That dude is, is horrible. I'm not going to hold you. That was actually, that shouldn't have been that entertaining. I'm not going to hold you. JCS has never had a bad video. That was a good video, bro, chat. Um, plugs don't touch that. And for a closing statement, when a bomb goes off, can't defuse it. That's what a wise man once told me. I BBG. All right. Holy bitch, man, like I'm devil heaven. Hold up, triple deuces. Hold up, we said we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, demon, man. Everybody cheer at least, I want by. No, no, no.